Sports. We're getting some windy conditions from yesterday's bout of stormy weather. This area of low pressure that was swinging through, I'm going to show you in just a second. Yeah, it's caught some wind in the neighborhood, especially around the Snake River Plain and also across western Wyoming. Plus, all this wind out of the southwest and west, we're going to drop more of that smoke from all the fires burning in northern California. And they're battling those fires, but the wind is pushing all that smoke through the Great Basin and in through southern Idaho. So you're going to see diminished air quality here over the next day or so because we have high pressure with us over. Over the northwest, and there's the low that brought in the showers yesterday. That low is going to continue to spin off here to the south. That high is going to just sit here for another day or so in the northwest. And then we're going to start working on more wraparound showers as we get into Sunday and Monday. So let me take you right over to Vipercast. 7 a.m. for tomorrow. It's going to be great here for our Saturday. Winds will also be lighter. We're going to be pulling in nice temperatures into the upper 70s to lower 80s. But again, we have that diminished air quality with some of that smoke. But a beautiful Saturday with temperatures, again, right where they should be or just even a little bit above average for this time of the year. This is 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Now we're getting into Sunday. Sunday morning, we start seeing that cloud cover building in. Coming in from the Great Basin, northern Nevada, northern Utah, this stuff is going to start circulating back in here with showers by Sunday, right around dinner time. Things start to get fired up there with the scattered showers in the Magic Valley, the Lower Snake River Plain, and the southeastern highlands. Then, as we go into Sunday evening, more of these showers will spread northward towards Montana, and we're going to be looking for overnight showers even in through Monday morning. And then Monday afternoon, still looking at some showers, but by Monday afternoon around 3, 4 o'clock, there is a bit of some sunshine there getting across the Snake River Plain. Lows tonight, mid 30s in Stanley, upper 40s in Salmon. And around 46 for the low in Idaho Falls. We're going to go with a 45 for Driggs, 41 for Island Park, and 40 for Jackson Hole, 46 in Rigby. Lower 50s for Pocatello in the lower Snake River Plain here. We're into the southeastern highlands, mid 40s for Soda and Montpelier, and the mid 40s also for the Star Valley. Highs tomorrow will be about the same, just a couple degrees warmer. We're pushing back into those upper 70s, lower 80s. Not much of a difference between today's high and tomorrow's high, but the biggest difference here no wind, no strong wind. We're going to have a light breeze. Tomorrow, around 5 to 10 miles an hour, but we're not looking at those 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts like we're getting outside right now. 77 in Mackey, 82 in Salmon, yeah, with also that haze getting into some of the valleys of central Idaho as well. Mid 70s for Sunday afternoon in Idaho Falls, we're taking it down to the lower 70s for Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday come in with a break, and then more showers rotate back in here for Thursday, Friday, Saturday leading into next weekend with dropping temperatures. Next weekend it's going to be cool and stormy with highs into the 60s for next Saturday. Pocatello, 83 for this Saturday, though, looking nice. 79 for Sunday, 75 for Monday, and Monday night, uh, just a side note here, is the first uh, day of fall. Well, it's the start of fall. It doesn't really take effect until around 8.30 Monday evening. And then Tuesday will be the first full day of fall. Rexburg, a high of 75 for Sunday, 70 for Monday. We bring in the sunshine for Tuesday and Wednesday. More scattered showers to get us in the later half of the eight-day forecast there. Blackfoot also bringing in some nice temperatures tomorrow. 82 for Saturday, 79 on Sunday. Blackfoot showers will take us down to 73 for Monday afternoon. Jackson Hole, you're going to see some scattered showers, cooler temperatures, mid 60s for Monday, upper 60s on Tuesday with a slight chance of a shower. More showers into next weekend for Jackson and the national parks. We do have that smoke and haze in the valleys of central Idaho, so I'm going to put the haze on there for Saturday and Sunday in Salmon. And it, there's also this high pressure inversion with us in Salmon. They could see a little bit of morning fog there Saturday morning. And that also goes for the uh, Chow's area as well. But uh, we're going to be looking for a really nice Saturday mm -hmm. temperature wise it's just a little bit smoky a little bit dusty with all the farm work that's yeah. going on too that's going to add to the uh, kind of a hazy sky out there and then next weekend more showers come through so enjoy and this Saturday yeah and I noticed a few leaves are starting to turn and a few are falling a little bit so fall is about here yeah colors are beginning to pop if you want to go for a nice drive Fish Creek Summit Lava Hot Springs US 30 that's a beautiful drive mm -hmm. going back to the Palisades we're starting to see the fall colors come so uh, maybe drive Maybe drive out to Ryrie, get some uh, square ice cream, go all the way up to Swan Valley. That's right. <laughs> some beautiful scenery. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Michael.